Yes, in our research uh, we systematically we review uh, all the trials that led to the approval of new drugs, uh, mainly targeted agents and immunotherapy, from uh, 2000 to 2015. We retrieved these drugs to the FDA database and we evaluated uh, if these uh, um, papers published uh, were, uh, um, have been analyzed according to the consort uh, system, that is a system uh, to report uh, the adverse event of, the tr of a trial, in order to evaluate uh, if uh, there is a, a, cons a consolidated uh, way in uh, reporting adverse events. So a precise, uh, clear and uh, unbiased way in reporting the adverse events is uh, vital to ensure the safety of the drugs. It is uh, also important uh, in, uh, in order to have uh, a shared decision making uh, in engaging uh, a discussion from, uh, with the physician uh, and then the patient. You know that uh, in my everyday clinical practice, when I start a new treatment with a patient, I have to, uh, to tell him or her which are the expected results of this drug, uh, which are the benefits that the patient wants to have. But there is the other side of the coin, so the adverse events. And if I am able to uh, know to, and to capture, to, to analyze the, in, a, in a good way which, uh, uh, which, I, which uh, the toxicity I expect from this drug, I will be able to more clearly explain this to the patient and I will have a more compliance and the patient will be more adherent to the treatment itself. There were two independent assessors that analyzed the paper and there, were, there was a third one uh, that could solve uh, discrepancies in cases. And we analyzed every uh, paper, every paper published regarding the, the specific drug uh, according to the 24 criteria and evaluating them with, uh, with a score. It's a, it's a typical way that has been reported also in other trials published in JCO and in Annals of Oncology. And we conducted this uh, systematic review uh, in, uh, in a three months period, stopping the, the evaluation of the new drugs uh, until October 2015. It was a, a, a cumulative score, a global score that indicated if, uh, if a paper uh, matched or not uh, quality criteria. This is the fourth way in analyzing our systematic review. The other way is to collect uh, across all the, uh, all the paper published which were the uh, most unreported or uh, um, without an high quality of reporting data. And so this is an interesting aspect that we retrieved. From. So we, we assessed that if there were specific drugs or specific period of time or specific uh, journals on which the papers were published that were higher qualities and we assess if a specific way in, uh, in, a specific, in, uh, in assessing uh, toxicity were in, uh, in a low quality uh, across the, the trials. I think that uh, as an oncology community, we are accustomed to um, deal with the chemotherapy and chemotherapy adverse events. It is a, is a 40 years old uh, uh, story. But uh, we are some, somewhat uh, new, somewhat uh, unexperienced un 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 in uh, uh, toxicity from targeted therapies and uh, immunotherapy. Uh, you know that, for example, uh, there is a, a fast track approval for new drugs that is a, is a very lucky thing because uh, it, it means that the, the specific drugs uh, is able to, to cover an unmet need. But the other side of the coin is that uh, sometimes we have not the opportunity to, uh, to catch, for example, the late toxicity of the drug, if I have a, a fast track approval. And so my, my great concern is that we have to pay more attention also to the post-marketing reports uh, of the uh, adverse event of uh, these new drugs.
So I used to call the duration of the Bers event as the third axis because uh, you know that we are used to evaluate the frequency of, a, uh, of an adverse event and the severity on the other axis of the adverse event. But the duration of the adverse event is not so um, usually reported in clinical trials. Um, for example, uh, for instance, you know that uh, um, with chemotherapy we are used to expect a higher grade adverse event for a short duration. But with targeted agents of immunotherapy, this is not so true because uh, they, are, uh, they, they say that uh, for sure this kind of treatment is somewhat better tolerated by the patient. But the cost of longer duration of adverse event, even if of a lower uh, grade. I, I would like to, to, to make an example to, to, to better clarify this, this point. For example, if you have a, a chemotherapy drug that causes mucositis, diarrhea, nausea and vomiting of an higher grade, for example, grade 3 and 4, that is typical that we expect this in a specific period of time in, from one cycle to another, that generally, by and large, it lasts two or three days. So this patient spends two or three days with an higher grade toxicity. On the other side, when you have a targeted uh, agent, it is difficult to reach such a higher grade uh, of diarrhea or mucositis uh, or, or nausea and vomiting and so on. But it is uh, typical to have a longer duration months in which the patient uh, has got uh, lower grade diarrhea or lower grade mucositis or fatigue, asthenia and so on. So I do not know which is the uh, toxicities that more uh, troubles the, the, the patient. And so I think that uh, we should be able to describe, to precisely describe to our patient what we, uh, what we expect from this specific drug. Because uh, in this way, uh, I think that uh, we will be able also to prolong the treatment uh, when it is effective. And not to stop it because of some side effects, unexpected side effects. I think so. Yes, because uh, you know that uh, there is a, a really wonderful paper published on Lancet Oncology six months ago regarding the new methods in collecting adverse events that was the, the toxicity over time. So the question of duration of adverse event is uh, uh, one of the striking ones that I think uh, it will happen in the future. It, and if, if it is not uh, as a community of physicians, we, we will have the patient that uh, will um, push us to, to give more attention to this uh, kind of events. So, uh, I think that uh, this uh, research uh, has a, the greatest uh, impact on me because I will be more critical in uh, uh, reading a new paper and observing a new paper and in telling to my next patient, what, is, what he or she expects from this specific trial. <coughs> In the future, I would like to have more trials reporting the, 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 the third axis, the duration of the drugs. And more, this is another key point that in the future will happen, uh, more attention to the patient reporting outcome. That is not an alternative way in, a, in assessing uh, adverse events, but it's a complementary one in which we will have uh, the patient voices more listened and uh, we will be able to capture in a more sophisticated way the adverse events of a specific drugs.